Hey guys, what is up? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to CLD episode 190, guys. We are 190 episodes into constructing Los Angeles. That's pretty crazy. Today, guys, I'm going to, guess what? Continue working on the city. Imagine that. So uh, today we have kind of an interesting project, something that kind of takes us way back to some of the origins of the city, and that is the Tinsel Tower remake that we were working on like two years ago. So um basically it's not good and it's got a lot of um well it just doesn't look very good first off it's not very well planned out and it's got a lot of blocks that are old and outdated well really one and that's the snow so we're going to kind of basically rebuild this and the more i look at it the more i realize that i have to pretty much just tear it down and rebuild it completely because the dimensions are wrong and it's supposed to be an odd number instead of an even number and it's a bunch of stuff that's just not going to work so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to kind of tear it down step by step as i rebuild it uh so how it's going to work is i'm going to like tear down the front i'm going to build the front a little bit up a little bit on this this um this particular plot i guess kind of increased in size since i built this so this thing used to be right up along the road but then we changed that a little bit so um, now I have a little bit more space out front here, so I can make it a little bit wider. I can also make it a little bit longer on this side as well. So a couple of options there, which are pretty good. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. I'm just going to get jump right out of the gate here and just start to uh, break a little bit of this stuff. So I'm also going to grab some swiftness potions as well. But anyway, guys, welcome back to another episode of Constructing Los Angeles. Where are the splash potions of swiftness? Here we go. Welcome back, guys. Um, today, we're going to answer two questions of the day here on CLD 190, as I did not answer one on 89, or 189. I didn't answer one because I was just kind of really uh, focusing on the build, since it was a little bit complicated, so um, I just want to kind of focus on that, but I definitely want to do two for this video, since it's CLD 190, you know, it's kind of a, it's on the zero, it's one of the special videos, kind of, so we'll do two uh, questions of the days today, and we have some good questions as well. Um, and then I want to just kind of spend some time pretty much trying to repair the Eclipse Tower. This is not the Eclipse Tower. This is the Tinsel Tower. Another GTA 5 base building. This is basically just the Eclipse Tower on a smaller scale. It's pretty much what it is. Um, so I, it's really not going to be too far out of my comfort zone as far as building this thing. I've already built something that's going to be three times the size of this. 100% complete. So... Doing this should be a cakewalk, as long as I just kind of get the dimensions right and concentrate. So, um, do my best. And we're going to go from there, guys. So, welcome back, everybody. Hopefully, you guys are having a good day. I am having a very, very interesting day because it is so loud outside my window. There are so many birds and stuff like that. It's just like a really beautiful day today. There's like the sun is out. It's nice and breezy. It's just a beautiful day. And that brings the birds, and the birds are everywhere at my house. So, basically, um, we've had woodpeckers on the side of my wall making noise. So I've had to constantly like go outside and throw tennis balls at them to get them to fly away. So it's been a real struggle for Dan. And then there's like birds chirping as well. So if you hear any random chirps or pecks at any point in this video, that is where that's coming from. I'm not getting attacked by birds, even though. That'll probably will eventually happen because I've been getting them pretty pissed off with me throwing tennis balls at them. But anyway, before I digress anymore, let's start to get the dimensions going down right here. So here's the plan. I'm going to, again, this side is already good. I'm going to start from this side. So I'll probably put the new front of the wall right there. Just move it up a few blocks so I have some space. I might even move it up a little bit more. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now that's actually good. I'm going to leave it there. So basically, this is going to be the new wall. I'm going to use the same um, uh, colors, I guess. Actually, you know what? What if we mix it up a little bit? What if I use some sand instead of stone for once? Because I think on the Eclipse Tower, I used stone and quartz as the base. So for this, I'll throw down some sand. Uh, it's kind of like a tan color in the game, but it's something that's a little bit difficult to replicate in MC. So um, we'll just kind of do it how it looks i guess or just whatever we'll just kind of uh we'll put in the same dimensions but we might use some different blocks but guys while i'm filling this in i'm going to get to the first question of the day we have two so i'll do the first one in the first 10 minutes and the second one in the second 10 minutes of the video so we're going to get to the first one right now and i got this one from the comment section on cld 188 and this was meant for cld 189 but again i was kind of focusing on the build before i answer it though um, let's go, let's, let me count this up real quick. We got one, two, three, four, five. 
Um, I think that should be good. I think I'll take that up five, and then I'm gonna have another level here of quartz that goes up maybe five or possibly six. I'm gonna start with five. I might make it six, but while I'm filling this in, guys, let's answer the question. So today's question, the first question of the day, comes from Dom Wells Gaming, and his question is: If a zombie apocalypse happened in Los Angeles, where would you hide and why? So I actually chose this question for last episode because the answer was kind of kind of relate to the episode, and I'll tell you where exactly where I'd hide. I'd hide inside that bank vault. Um, in the bottom of the nether bank of Los Angeles. That would be a really good place to hide because no zombies are getting in there. And you could just chill, grab a bunch of food from the uh, Bone Meals uh, supermarket right next door. Just head on inside and just you just camp out there for a little while and hope for the best. But that's what I would do. Uh, there's definitely some other good spots. Um, I don't know. There's uh, Let me think about this for a second because I had that idea. I guess like... Um, Top of the Eclipse Tower, maybe, because it would be vertical heights. So it would be hard for a Zombo to get you. Maybe you could have, like, a helicopter come pick you up at the top or something. There's definitely a lot of good spots, but I would say the Bank Vault would definitely be the best spot for that. Who knows? Maybe one day we'll have a zombie apocalypse here in Los Angeles. But uh, thank you very much for that question, Dom Wells Gaming. And we will move on to the next question in just a little bit, guys. But let's see. So far, we have a little... So this is going to be, like, the level... Again, this thing's going to be a lot taller um well no it's not it's gonna be it's just gonna be better okay so just bear with me for now let me grab some more splash potions i start using splash potions a little bit more because they don't last as long and they take i just splash them i don't have to like drink them or anything like that sometimes they last a little bit longer than i want so Spl and i'll just start using those instead i've been using splash potion of night vision anyway so i figured i'll do the same thing for swiftness but yeah this is gonna go up for and then we're gonna start to poke some holes in this so there we go. So that's one block away from the edge over here and one block away from the edge over here. So uh, as you can see, this is a much bigger wall. So this is going to work. Okay, so next thing we got to do is, well, first off, first thing we have to do is check the dimensions on this. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, 48, 51, 54. So that's an even number. So I'm probably going to shed one block off of this and make this an odd number. That way, the building itself is an odd number because I want that. So hopefully that'll work. All right, so let's go ahead and find the middle of this. So 53 cut in half is 26 and a half. So 26 blocks counting in this direction should get me to the middle. 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 25, 26. So right here should be the middle of this big wall that I just put in. Looks about right. Okay, and we can, we can make sure by counting this way. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 26. Yep. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to count off let's see here we got one two three four five um so this would be the six block up so this is going to go out a little bit and this is going to kind of create like a little bit of a awning something like that let's uh oh wait i lost track of the middle crap is this the middle uh, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Yeah, okay. So that is the middle. All right, so um, this is going to go out six blocks, I think. So how many is that? One, two, three. Okay, so six blocks. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there and there that should be nine blocks away from each other yes and this should come out six from here one two th three four five six seven actually this is going to be like the same exact awning that we have for like the little front thing that we have for the eclipse tower so if i did this right that should be seven right there one two three four five six seven two three four five six seven okay perfect so that's that's good we're going to take this down right here and then this is going to go out three, past the stone. Okay, so 
think right there is two, so three like that. Yep. All right, this is good. We got this, guys. Figured it out. Yeah, this this is a little bit of a tricky design because it's got to be symmetrical. So that's that's pretty much all that matters. Okay, cool. So we have that in the front, and that looks good. Might actually make that a little bit smaller for the eclipse tower, or for the tinsel tower, not eclipse. God, I gotta. Oh, that's gonna be hard to uh, get that out of my mind. Uh, but that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go double check it on the eclipse real quick because. I might change it a little bit for tinsel, so we'll see. But I'm gonna go check it real quick. Pretty sure I have it right though. We're gonna make sure though. Do a little double check. Okay. So um, okay. So this actually goes one block up from that. So this needs to go down in one block. So this only is four blocks off the ground. Okay, that's fine. So we are almost correct. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for that. So okay. So we almost had it right. And I might even make it just a little bit smaller for the Tinsel Towers in width. I don't have to make it 9 blocks wide. Because it's not as wide of a building, so the dimensions kind of don't line up very well. So that's what we'll probably do. Again, this is a real trial and error process here. Because um, I'm just trying to get the dimensions right for this building. Because it's not the same as Eclipse Tower in every way. Eclipse Tower is much, much wider. So, Alright, so now we have to... What do we have to do? We have to take that up or take that down? Which one should we do? Up or down? I think I'll just take this down one block. So this will now be here. One block lower. Okay, so I got to get the uh, the turn on the mod controller so I can break this real quick. But yeah, this thing is um, got to be a little bit smaller. Because it's not going to work if it's bigger. Might even make this thing two blocks wide as well. Going out past the stone instead of three. Because that might be better. We'll see. But this is looking pretty good so far. And then what I got to do is add the main entrance, uh, the side entrance, uh, what else, some bushes, some trees, and then we can start getting to work on each one of the levels. Okay, guys, so I made some minor changes to the front here. Um, I added a little bit of a lining of sideways pillared quartz here, taking off one level of sand. Um, and I also added some upside down stairs here and then broke open some space for some side doors and the main entrance real quick. So we're going to go right from there. Uh, a couple things I want to do now are add some stone, which might actually be gravel. We'll see. And I also want to get some stone slabs as well. So I think I will just do gravel. So we obviously need to lay, lay or set down a layer of stone first because gravel obviously does not stand by itself. So we're going to have to do that. And then we can put down some gravel throughout this whole thing. But yeah, guys, I'm going to get to the second question of the day uh, right now while I'm filling this in. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down this bed of gravel, and then I'm going to put a railing, and then I'm going to add some bushy stuff up here. We'll see what. And then I'll start to add at least one or two levels, maybe one or two. That would probably be good. Of uh, the actual building itself, of the front. And then this is going to be a project that will probably be worked on on a live stream. Um, and then possibly other episodes of CLD. But this is not a major project that I want to work on in the city, because it's pretty much just a renovation job. So... It's not super duper important to the final conclusion, uh, but it's definitely something I got to work on. So we'll see what uh, when I can find some time to do this. Uh, I want to get to the plaza soon because that's like the next major project, as I kind of discussed before. You know, I have like side projects and I have major projects, so uh, we have to kind of you know allocate time for both. So I'm going to answer today's second question of the day, and this one is uh, one that was really popular in the comments section. And it comes from Adam Ordell. And the question is, if you had a job in Los Angeles, uh, what would you want to work at and why? Or where would you want to work at? Sorry, I read that wrong. Um, so this is a really good question. I got a lot of, uh, I guess, thumbs up in the comment section. A lot of people wanted me to answer it. So here I am answering it. Um, this, would, this is kind of a tough question because there's so many possibilities of things I can do. Because you can literally think of any job in a city and I could be that job. So I could be like the head of the bank. I could be, um, you know, the owner of the Eclipse Tower buildings or who knows, the mayor of the city even. Uh, I could be the head contractor, which is pretty much what I am. <laughs> head contractor, head architect of Los Angeles as well as mayor. So I kind of already am those things. But I would definitely probably, I'd probably want to work with something in the stadium. Something with the laggers. So I'd probably want to be the the coach of the team or like the general manager of the team or maybe even uh, one of the players on the team like the quarterback or something like that that'd be really fun that's probably what i'd choose if i had anything to uh, choose from but there's so many things i could be i could be a police officer i could be a, a car dealership salesman 
I could be a <laughs> fireman. You know, there's some endless amounts of possibilities. I could work at Flower Pot Coffee Shop. I could uh, run the, um, what's it called, the Ferris wheel at the pier. <laughs> I could own that little surf shop uh, right on the edge of the shore. So many things I could do here in the city, but I'd probably want to do something with the, with the stadium. I like the team, so I'd probably go with that, but it's honestly too tough to call. So thank you very much for that question. Um, Adam Mordell, that's a really good one. That got a lot of uh, positive feedback in the comment section. So very creative question. Thank you very much for that. And yeah, guys, those are the two questions of the days for today. So I'm putting in this railing right now. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this. Um, I might do like three blocks away going all the way down. Hopefully that will connect nicely. We're going to probably have to go from over here. Okay, guys, so there's good news. That railing ended up being symmetrical. So each one will, I guess, connection to the ground just three blocks away from each other all the way around. So that's pretty good. So the next thing I want to do is add some some leaves here on the corners. So probably going to go three in like that, like every few here. So something like that, kind of going across. Uh, might even make a few taller ones in the middle here. We'll see, but probably like three blocks kind of away from each other on each one of these. really like the contrast between the uh, spruce leaves and the gravel. It's a good con contrast of colors. So we're going to go three there and three right here. So I'll probably get rid of this one. Place that there. Is that going to be symmetrical in the middle? Not quite. Okay, so right there. I think that is about as good as it's going to get. Yeah, all right, that's fine. So we got a little bit of uh, greenery there. And I might even connect like a big one across the middle here going all the way through. That's kind of like a like a nice uh, centerpiece. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So the next thing we got to do is quickly head over to the Eclipse Towers and see how far away the edges are from each side, I guess you could say. So we're going to do that right now. Um, all right, so this is, well, this is a little bit deceiving because this thing kind of sticks out a little bit. But we got one, two, three, four, five away, or six, I guess, if you count this. So for me, I'm probably going to do something around something along the lines of three. We'll see how this looks, but that's going to be the plan. I'll do three blocks away from the edge. And also, actually, before I forget, let me see. How, okay, so it looks like it's two blocks away from here or even just one. Okay, so it's only one. All right, that's fine. So we'll do the same thing there. Might even make that a little bit wider, too. I'm going to do this a little bit differently than eclipse but the same kind of idea so again uh this right here can start to be ripped up a little bit so i'm going to do this for the first level or so here so let me just drink some of this i'm going well <laughs> didn't even finish the episode before i go back to drinking them i said i was going to splash myself lo lo li lo all right so let's get rid of this and we're just going to kind of just clearing out some space right now again this isn't just really not none of this is going to stay it's just basically on the same plot. I'm just gonna rip it as I go. But this shouldn't be. This shouldn't take too long to f to kind of complete the exterior of this building because it took like one day to do it last time. So okay, the ugliness will will vanish eventually, guys. All right. So the key to this is making sure that it's an odd number. It's very very important that it's an odd number. So again, I'm gonna go out three blocks through the gravel. So probably right there. It's going to be where we're going to start. So this has to be odd. So if I take this all the way down uh, with the quartz and run this to the point where it is right there, I believe that should give me an odd number. So let's make sure. 3, 6, 9, 12. Oh, crap. I lost count. Sorry. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42 45 odd number that's perfect okay so now basically we have the little shelves here right and this is going to run in a couple of blocks that connects back to the glass i think it was three blocks in on eclipse i'm not 100 percent sure i might have to go back and check again for the last time uh, but if that is the case then all we got to do is really just replace the walls here because this is not going to be glass it's just not I don't, I don't want to do glass. I'm probably going to do uh, just, or wait, no, hold on a second. It, it's ice, not glass. That's what I want to do is glass. 
I don't want to do ice, I want to do glass. Sorry. Ice and glass. We use gl ice as glass, and then I just start calling it glass, and it gets confusing for everybody. Okay, so that's how this is going to work. But the difference is, this is going to go up four blocks here instead of just, what I think it was three. So one, two, three, four. So the next level would be right here. And this is going to be out of quartz instead of snow. Because we're getting with the times here, people. It's 2015, we don't use snow on our builds anymore. At least not in the city texture pack. Okay. So that's gonna, this is basically going to be the second shelf. So we're just going to kind of get this settled in and then I'll start to break the, the first level here and add the proper glass and I'll have the uh, little linings that are already there anyway so we'll add those two and we'll do those out of uh, light gray wool so that looks good so let's see how this is looking um, impossible to tell right now obviously wait is that four blocks there yeah okay so and that is the same as the Eclipse Towers, I think. It actually might be three. No, no, I'm pretty sure it's four. Yeah, it's four. Okay, so, yeah, so four. And then we need um, the glass. And we also need some of the little markings in between. And what else do I need to check? Uh, oh, yeah, how many blocks away is it into the inside? It is three. Okay, awesome. So, we need... Uh, are we going to do this on each level? I'm not sure if we're going to do this on Eclipse. We'll see, though. I add, like, the slabs on each level. Might be a little bit different for this. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is just quickly destroy this level here. Just the first one. We're just going to start with the first one. So this is all going to get destroyed and replaced with glass. And we're also going to add a little linings of, of uh, light, uh, light gray wool. Yeah, light gray wool. I'm just going to call it white wool. But I always think to do that, but then I don't. Yeah, so we're going to break all this. This is just going to get broken. Nothing else to be said. Okay. And we're going to grab our glass and our gray wool. Light gray wool. So this is going to go in... Mm, well, there needs to be five total, so... Let's try right there to start. And then this is going to be glass. Remember this. So there's the four pieces of glass. Another thing we got to do is... This is obviously going to be stone in here. So let me real quick grab the quartz I broke by accident. So this is all going to be stone in here. So let me just kind of get rid of this real quick for just a little bit. In fact, we'll take this all the way down. Okay, so this is three. So this is going to be three away from here. So this is now the new uh, turn here. This is going to be right there. So all of this is going to get broken eventually and that's going to be the new turn so this right here will will become quartz and that's going to be the first turn so three blocks away okay so now we have to what i'm going to do real quick is i'm going to fill in the quo no, no no the glass and then i'm going to try to figure out where i want to place the light gray wool pillars because they're going to be kind of assorted so I have to figure that out as we go and right here is going to be the turn. This is all going to get broken eventually. Let's break that a little bit right now. Okay, so let me just quickly fill this in with a little bit of glass. But yeah, it's th it's the same concept as Eclipse, pretty much. Uh, one thing I learned with Eclipse is that it's totally cool to cover the glass from the inside. Just If you want to start out by filling the whole thing with glass, it's fine, because you can just cover up glass if you want with extra walls and things like that. It's totally okay. Um... Yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been doing. I am really, I was really happy with the way the Eclipse Tower turned out. So, um, hopefully, this thing will be kind of the same, you know, finishing touch. So it's amazing how much bigger that looks than the other one. Like the each level looks so huge. It's weird how big that looks. It looks bigger than um, than the Eclipse Tower. I, I don't know why that is. It just seems like it's larger. Dang. All right, so anyway, if this is going to be three blocks right there, so we're going to have, we have to have five of these total. So one of them is going to have to be in the middle, the dead center. So so right here is going to be the one in the middle. So that's now three. So we have to find the sweet spot here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So... 
seven in one two three four five six seven so right here two three four five six seven okay so that should do it okay so now we have our little those are going to be our pillars right there so yeah that definitely breaks up the space a little bit more so as you can see uh, this building is going to be drastically changed it's going to be not recognizable pretty much but it's still going to look really nice so i like the progress we've made guys here on the first episode working on this thing there's still a possibility that i might uh, make it wider um as far as the windows are concerned but i'm going to fly back to the eclipse tower it just doesn't look the same i don't know if it's just because it's like on a different angle or a different i don't even know but it doesn't look like it's four, even though it is. So it's really hard to kind of follow that. As you can see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I mean, once you look at it over here and you see all these levels, you realize it's that big. But it's kind of hard to wrap your mind around it when you've seen it like much smaller than it was before. But this thing is eventually going to be 12 um, levels up. So if we have our first level is right here. So there's going to be 11 more of these. So if you figure, let's let's get a map out real quick so we can kind of see. I can kind of get you an idea of how tall this is going to be. All right, so this is at 83, right? And this goes up to 88, so there's 5. So if you do 11 more of that, that's 55. So 55 up from here is like 133. So the Y133 coordinate is where this is going to be. So like right here is pretty much going to be the the top level of this place. So it's not going to be a whole lot taller than than that already, but it's definitely going to look more, um, I guess, uh, it's going to just look upgraded from what it is now. It's not going to look as kind of silly. So it should be a really nice looking building when it's done though. But guys, thanks for watching. We made some pretty good progress here actually on this first episode working on this thing. I'm probably going to work on this thing on a, on a live stream on Twitch. So uh, hopefully I'll announce that pretty soon. But I like the progress I've made here to start off with this thing, upgrading the Tinsel Tower into something that looks uh, much more similar to the eclipse tower so guys thanks for watching it's been dan lags give it a like if you enjoyed it i'll come back to you guys with cld 191 in a few days and you guys want to leave your question of the day submissions for that i'm just going to answer one question for that video give it a like if you give this video a like if you did enjoy it guys it's been dan lags and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out